Late yesterday evening, Bitcoin broke out but immediately found resistance to the area we talked about and failed to get any significant closes above this level. And subsequently, Bitcoin swung to the other side. So which side is Bitcoin most likely to complete this move? To the upside or to the downside? Guys, it is about to get messy. Let's do this. Welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Raymond Ravioli, and this is a special Italian episode of Bitcoin. Guys, we have so much to be jumping into in this webisode as Bitcoin continues to be squinched and squished into a smaller and smaller price target. Guys, we talked yesterday about when most likely this pattern has to break. But after what happened last night, does that change the trajectory of Bitcoin going forward as we immediately face resistance right around that 19,000 $400 level and failed to get any significant closes above. And guys, did you know if you click the like button, your dreams will be full of pizza, ravioli, and Papa John himself. And as always, guys, all comments enter you to win a ledger equivalent in BTC or access to T4. And as well, scammers in the comments pretending to be me and other YouTubers, guys, be very careful. We do not comment telephone numbers, telegrams, or anything like that. Those are absolute scammers, so always keep yourself safe. And guys, only a few days left. If you use my link below, you can get up to an additional 610 for trading on Bybit. There are some great prizes for Christmas coming up uh, as well. Tons of great giveaways, so make sure to sign up below if you're interested in trading, you have experience, and you want to support the channel. Wow, who is ready to make a mess, guys? So if we start out here on this weekly chart, we just got a weekly close uh, roughly 24 hours ago, uh, the highest weekly close in Bitcoin's history. So that's one good thing. We already had the highest monthly close in history at the beginning of this month. But since we've gotten that close, Bitcoin has only traded sideways. And basically, this accounts for that entire time period beginning, beginning the very end of the day, November 30th, until now so far. So the entire month of December so far, we have just been coiling within this triangle. And the question on everyone's minds is, when is this bad boy going to end? Remember yesterday we talked about uh, December 9th most likely being the absolute last day that this pattern could hold without breaking out. However, it's likely that we'll break before then. And in fact, after I recorded yesterday's video and basically as soon as I uploaded it, Bitcoin attempted to break out. You can see it here. Bitcoin broke right about 19.2, went all the way up to about 19.4, right that very key level, which is exactly the uh, point of control on the one hour chart and got rejected, uh, came back down to the triangle, bounced yet again to that same area, in effect, creating a lower high as well, coming back down to the top of that triangle, uh, getting an even lower high here, only up to about 19,200, and then getting a strong rejection, seemingly swinging to the opposite side of this triangle, but then immediately finding support at 18,900. So pretty much the bulls and the bears are not budging whatsoever. Price action so far is absolutely refusing to do anything. Guys, this is absolute decision time. We have gotten some technical breakouts and they have immediately failed. And then we immediately swung to the other side, seeming to get a breakdown, and that immediately failed as well. So currently, as I'm recording this, we're trading about 19,100. When will this breakout occur? So looking on the six hour chart, you can see there is still some time left for this triangle to complete. Still December 9th is the speculative ending date to this triangle. Currently, we're above this very key 21 moving average on the six hour chart. You can see we wicked insanely low below it. And we've actually been holding this as support uh, for the past 48 hours as well. You can see we've had so many candle closes and opens exactly on this 21 moving average here on the six hour chart. And you can see where we keep finding support as well ever since uh, about the end of December 4th, beginning of December 5th, which was right on the point of control for the six hour chart which is about 18,900. Guys, Bitcoin is just refusing to have an actual breakout. Uh, if we go to the daily chart, we actually see Bitcoin maintaining this six month ascending channel. This is something we've been talking about ever since the crash in March, right? If we go all the way back, you can see we started this structure back in March and the price for the most part has respected these lines in one way or the other for uh, the last uh, actually nine months now. So this is actually a, a much longer channel beginning back in March and now we're in December already nine months here. And this pattern has gotten so big at this point that it can actually be seen on the daily chart. You can see this speculative triangle right here, guys. Symmetrical triangle doesn't have a bias one way or the other. It looked very likely. A lot of people were saying yesterday we we're getting a breakout immediately. Uh, basically in the same one hour candle got rejected there uh, and we saw the momentum quickly swing down where we got to the top of the triangle found support and guys we've just been bouncing around this triangle with no clear breakout whatsoever no clear strength right we have not seen 
any actual clear swing in the momentum. Wow, and guys, as we talked about yesterday, the last time we were going parabolic, we had that kind of uh, double top with a high, higher high, and then a pullback fake out uh, below the 21 day, and then massive $6,000 price pump. And now I'm seeing a lot of other people actually kind of subscribe to that idea as well, potentially, you know, coming back down to that 17,000 before a move to the upside. And again, I still believe that is the most likely move, but this is absolutely nauseating the fact that Bitcoin's price continues to trade sideways. I don't think it's gonna last much longer. I 100% anticipate uh, tomorrow when I look at these charts, maybe early in the morning, there will have been a big move. And guys, I personally think a huge factor of this is that the DXY has actually found support of the last few days, right? Uh, it was dumping massively and we saw Bitcoin's price rally uh, as this was dumping. And this is the weekly chart. But you can see there is one last level of support that uh, the DXY has on this chart that if it maintains, could mean Bitcoin has some more sideways or dumpage in the short term. But if this breaks, guys, I fully anticipate this to be more than a $30,000 uh, price pump correlation with Bitcoin's price in the DXY. So basically, if the DXY would fail here, go anywhere below 88, that is uh, when Bitcoin would most likely go uh, potentially parabolic 30, even 40K, right? Who knows when that could happen? If this fails to hold support, right? This is a little less predictable than anything right now because of our economy and everything going on in the world. But if this last level of support fails at any point, as you can see, we're getting a bounce now. Uh, long term, I think this is probably going to continue down though. So that's fully what I anticipate, right? And that's why we expect 30, 40, 50,000 US dollars per Bitcoin, which I think is inevitable anyway, even if this chart kind of stalls out. But guys, at the end of the day, this really does come down to a waiting game here. We have the 19.4 acting as significant resistance, uh, and it's been for quite a while. We have been failing here, and we got the biggest fail here yesterday, okay? We had that little bit of a breakout. It barely got anywhere. I believe it got what, like, uh, what is this? Not even 2% of a break uh, up here before it hit that resistance around 19.4. Got slammed back down. You see it come all the way back down to the exact bottom of this triangle, wicked all the way down to 18.9, uh, and in the last few hours has bounced back up. So again, guys, Bitcoin is just toying with us at this point. Uh, and in terms of the TA, all of the, t all of the TA from yesterday is still completely valid as really nothing has changed. We're still waiting for a true breakout. And another reason we know we haven't gotten one, aside from the fact we're still within the triangle, is the fact that there has been no significant volume increase either. We got uh, here on this hourly chart, the smallest amount, and that was here as we were dumping, we failed at 19.4, uh, right here you see a very small increase in volume, and then we kind of just failed holding at 19.2, we broke back below the triangle, and then back into the triangle, and now we're just sitting basically in the middle of the speculative triangle on the four and six hour, guys. And guys, we see the same exact thing shaping up with Ethereum as well. We have the high and then a higher high printed about a week later here. Uh, high was on November 24th, and then there was a second higher high on December 1st. We found support on the 21 day moving average, and currently that kind of is the exact same thing happening with Ethereum. So really not too much to update in terms of that. Alt's kind of doing the same thing, kind of just following Bitcoin to see which direction it chooses here. But again, this triangle we have to keep an eye on. The levels we need to break to the upside, still 19.4. Uh, then to the downside, if we break 18.9, I think we're actually gonna have that huge retest down to 18.6, which is that absolutely crazy critical level that we've been talking about. It's held many, many, many times over the past uh, week on this one hour chart. It's been insane in terms of uh, hourly closes, not a single hourly close below this so far, right? We've had wicks go substantially below it, but we have not had a single hourly close below 18.6. So uh, we're definitely looking at that level to the downside to see if we get a close or even come down to that 18.6 again, then I think that we have a very good chance to drop another potential $2,000, right? That would be the breakout to the downside. But then guys, to the upside, breaking that 19.4 is absolutely key here. We have not been able to really do that either. And we have not had a single one hour close above that level either. All right, so let's pick a wiener for the Legisode. So video number three, so one, two, three, we're gonna copy the link here. All right, gonna enter the thing here. And guys, whoever's the winner, make sure to just respond to your winning comment in the comments and then also just shoot me an email um, with uh, your preferred prize there and it looks like the winner is John Estes. 
Pritchard Crumpage. Awesome, brother. Make sure to shoot me an email. We'll get that sent out to you. And guys, as well, anybody interested in trading, make sure to check out our links below. Uh, only a few days left. If you're interested, you have experience, you want to support the channel. And remember, scam comments below, guys. I block them as much as I can. I uh, block keywords as well that they use, but they just keep finding ways around it. So yeah, if they respond to your comment, uh, it is not me or anyone else in the YouTube community reaching out to you which, with a good deal. It is just a scam.